Hi guys, so I finally invested in the Dior Dway slides, slide sandals, sliders, whatever you want to call them. And I apologize, I'm really, really hot. And <laughs> if I get sweaty up a lip, it's because it's really hot. I don't have air conditioning. It's obviously like the hottest day in England and that's when I decided to film this. But we're off to Portugal tomorrow and I wanted to do the unboxing so I can take them with me and wear them. And then I'm gonna do a review kind of whilst I'm away. And at the end, to kind of review a review like a week in my shoes how they actually felt on if they're comfortable because it's one thing kind of having a little trot around your house and trying them on versus walking miles and miles in a city so it's going to be put to the blister test so wish me luck so the, i'm going to pull them out of the bag so anyway if you follow glamour and gains if you read my blog you've probably seen the george way slides on the blog because they are on my top pick for the designer slides and for many reasons, which I will get to, but let's get them out. Oh, and if you're like me and like bags, and I really like shopping in person for things that are kind of more luxury goods, and I'm all about the details. So when you see on here, there's an actual gold star and it's metal. I'm like, okay, I've got a Christmas ornament as well. So anyway, obviously the iconic white and gold boxes. Da -da. And then obviously it comes with the shoe bags as well, which I'm going to use so that I don't get all dusty going around. And then here are the Dior slides and they're the Dway. And the reason I kind of decided to invest in these ones versus a lot of the other slides is I just feel like they're a classic style. And it's obviously from like mile apart, miles away, they're Christian Dior because of the giant name across the front but it's still more low key than having some of the gold hardware that's on them. They're still a really good vacation shoe or a summer shoe. That's another reason I liked them. And then there are so many different colors and obviously my eye went straight to the hot pink and the pale pink, <laughs> all pink pair. But realistically, I'm all about when I'm investing in luxury goods, getting the most cost per wear, because then obviously it brings the price per wear down. I like justifying these things. So if I know I can get a lot more wear out of them with a versatile color, that's what I'm go going to go for. And also being a darker color, it's gonna show the dirt less. So that was one of the cheeky reasons I went for it. And there's so much more versatile navy and white goes with a lot more clothes than pink, unfortunately. And then, Bring it in close to you. I preferred the white than a lot of the other colors. They've kind of got that beige and cream. I don't wear beige and cream. I look awful in it. I literally look like a toe. It washes me out head to toe. So um, that's why I kind of wanted the white. I think it's just a crisper color. And these are, the style of these are, please don't butcher my pronunciation. Or do, if you want to have a giggle in the comments, let me, that's fine too. But they are the Toile de Jouet, Joy. J-O-U-Y, the Toile de Joy in 68B blue, which is navy and white. So if you're looking on the site, that's the ones I went for. And they have that really pretty print on the inside of them, which I really like. This is also rubber. That was another thing I went for. I figured rubber's gonna be much easier to wipe down at the end of the day, especially if you're touring around and exploring cities. Your feet do get a bit dirty and grubby. That way you can just wash them down at the end of the day, give them a quick wipe off. And the canvas, obviously, if you want to put a protector on, you can. Hopefully, they won't get too dirty, but it is an easier material to clean than, um, say, satin or if you've got a lambskin leather that's going to scratch really easily. And there are other brands I've seen, and there are so many knockoffs of them now. It's like, well, why am I going to spend like $800 on a pair of designer leather slides when I can kind of get the a leather pair that look exactly the same for 50 whereas these I thought are so much more iconic and instantly recognizable and there isn't like another cheap knockoff of them so that's why I really like these on the sole you do have that smooth sole so you probably want to rough them up or wear them down a little bit and the sole is quite thin so realistically when I get back to Vegas I'm probably going to get another sole with a bit of a grip on it so they don't wear all the way through because I'm quite I don't know if I'm heavy footed or I walk a lot, but I do wear my soles down really quickly and then they start to go on the end. So I really want to protect the shoes from that. The other thing with this, I ended up with a 36 and a half, which is the same size I have in my Christian Dior ribbon Jador sling backs, if you've seen that review. So same size on this. I was going to do a 37, but they're sold out. And when I tried it in another color, honestly, there wasn't a difference. So I'm going to pop these on so you can see the sizing for them. Also, there is the tiniest heel on these. On some of them now, like for 2022, they've got that chunkier sole on them, which I just feel is going to date a lot quicker. It might be comfier, it might be in this year. If you wanna do like more on trend, that's a really good pair. If you're looking for a classic style that's gonna last you a few years until you wear them out, I would definitely go with this Dior Dway slider.
So this is them on, it's a 36.5, like I said, normally a 37. It is end to end, but honestly, I do have one foot that's about half a size bigger than the other. So one foot <laughs> seems to fit better than the other, but they're really good across the front there and then side to side. And I just think they're a really, really lovely summery shoe. And I think they're almost a dark enough navy. Like I'm wearing black right now and I think it looks absolutely fine. Sometimes I wouldn't wear blue and black, but I like it in this instance. So that's kind of out of the box, a little unboxing, what you see, what you get. Like I said, I'm gonna wear them around this week and I will give you a review of how they feel, whether they're kind of, if they, I've read before that they do need breaking in because of the canvas there is a little stiff to start with. So I'm gonna see how long that takes to break in, how many blisters or no blisters I get and kind of create more of a review from there. The other reason I got this pattern is, I'm quite a matchy matchy girl if you haven't noticed. And they also had the matching twilly for this, skinny scarf, mitzel, whatever you want to call it. And I just thought that's really nice because I got the beige Christian jaw, um, canage lady jaw. And if you've seen that review, because it's beige and it's lambskin, it is kind of, I do have to treat it like a bit of a baby, but I thought I could wrap this around the handles, which will protect it from dirt. It will protect it just from natural greases and oils that come off your hands, sweat, and also it's gonna tie in this for a kind of a really coordinated look. You can also use it as a hair ribbon. So I have kind of been getting a few of these, but the reason I got this one was obviously because I like that. And then obviously next on the wish list is the book tote that goes with this as well. But we'll see about that. We'll see how the exchange rate is when I come back next year. Okay, I am off to Portugal. I'm gonna pack these babies with me and I will fill you in en route. Right, so as promised, I've been putting the Dior Dway slides to the test here in Lisbon and trekking up and down, getting all my steps in. And I kind of broke them in really slowly because I was a bit nervous about the blisters because like people have been saying, it was a bit uncomfortable across here. Um, so they, they are a little bit uncomfortable there, but I think the sole's really good. There's loads of cobblestones here. I couldn't feel the cobblestones. I wasn't slipping on them, which I was really concerned about because the sole's super smooth looking. But I didn't slip, knock on wood. Um, yeah, anyway, so I'm gonna show you how my feet look after the first wear, because it's, what, what, how hot is it out there right now? 80, around yeah. 80. Um, so just hot and sweaty, walking around miles and miles. Let's take a little, little look. They're not too bad, are they? I mean, there's a tiny bit there and there, but there's no blisters. So I'm gonna keep wearing these and I'll let you know how it goes. Hey guys, okay, I'm back from Portugal and walking around all day in the Dior Dway slides. And there was the second day I wore them, I think we did 10 miles. It was a ridiculous amount of walking up and down hills. I have to say, I did get tiny little blisters that weren't really kind of like blisters. It was almost just like where it rubbed on the skin and kind of like created a little bit of pain. So honestly, it was still worth breaking them in. So what I did was, it's literally just there that it rubs where the top of the canvas, this part, just digs in until it's softened up. It's actually a really easy solution to that. Literally just take the tiniest band-aid and this saved me. Once I put this on, absolutely no problem. And literally all I was doing was putting it right where it hits. So just above the toe joint, I need a pedicure, I'm sorry. I haven't had time since it's got back. Literally just there. And then the tiniest thing. And then when you put the shoes on, you can't even really see it. It's not like a big deal, but it just kind of protects your, sh your foot. I was gonna say protects your shoe. Probably does, but it protects your foot too, your toe. Um, and then the soles are getting quite worn. So what I'm gonna do is get them resold because it's quite a thin sole. Do you see what I mean? That's really, really thin. I don't want it to start wearing onto that rubber um, upper there. So I just really want to kind of get that taken care of. So that's what I'm gonna do with them. I'm just gonna have them resold, wear the band-aids for a little while until they break in properly. And amazing, like they do get dirty, but even if they did in the city or if you're a beach, it's rubber, it's not canvas on the bottoms here. So you can just wipe that down really really easy so i'm really happy with this purchase it isn't like you know for slides are kind of expensive for a little everyday kind of casual shoe but i was wearing them out at night there as well i kind of I couldn't really wear heels or even like wedges on all the cobblestones and all the hills so i did wear these a lot out and it kind of looked a bit smart and then just trekking around in flip-flops, which I honestly don't find comfortable to walk around in for long periods of time anyway. So that's about all I have to say on these bad boys. There are tons of different, if you don't like the blue and white, or you just kind of just not your color, you don't think you'd wear it, it won't go with as many things. They have so many colors and prints and styles on Jaws website right now. And I have to say, they also have some really chunky sold ones if you want something more fashionable for this year. They're kind of really cute for the summer. 
going into fall or if you're going on a winter summer vacation to the beach somewhere. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I'll try and answer them properly for you. If I don't know the answers, I will look them up and get back to you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give this a quick thumbs up. It honestly means so much to me and really, really helps the channel. And subscribe.